What's going on everybody? It's your online coach Joshua Ayers checking in, signing in, logging in, vlogging in. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to stay fuller and how to not be hungry when you guys are dieting. So, First and foremost, I do want to note that if you guys are a competitor like myself, I'm a natural professional bodybuilder, um, you guys are going most likely to get to a point, whether you are a bodybuilder, uh, men's physique, women's physique, figure, bikini, whatever it is, you guys are probably going to be getting to a point to where if it is inevitable that you are going to be hungry, especially if you guys are competing at the professional level. Because if you guys are really pushing the envelope and really digging really deep, to get to that ultra lean, super shredded look, it's almost inevitable to just kind of not be hungry when you're dieting. But there is gonna be a few tips that I'm gonna give you guys today that you guys can use. And also, if you guys are just into general health and fitness, these tips are also gonna be beneficial. Now, with that being said, for men and women, so men, when you guys are around the 10% and lower, and females, when you are around the 18% and lower, there's gonna be hormonal shifts, there's gonna be hormonal changes in the body, right? So as our body fat level gets low, but also as our calories get really, really low, we're gonna have hormonal changes to two different hormones known as ghrelin and leptin. So what's gonna happen, as we get very, very lean, the hormone that is responsible for making us feel full is gonna go down, and the one that's responsible for making us um, not be hungry is gonna skyrocket up, okay? So we wanna make sure that we keep that in mind. But a few things that we could do to make sure that we can kind of battle against that is making smart food choices. So I am a big advocate of flexible dieting, AKA if it fits your macros. So I follow an 80-20 rule. 80% whole nutrient dense food, 20% basically whatever you want. So if you want some refined sugars, you want some sweets, cookies, cake, ice cream, chips, the whole nine yards, you guys have complete freedom to do that so long as it's in that 20% window. Now, what is gonna be the reason why the nutrient dense is 80% and the like refined is 20%? Besides the obvious fact that this is gonna be more healthy for you because there's gonna be a lot more micronutrients in it and there's not gonna be some of the sugars and processed stuff that's going on in here, but specifically when we're looking to stay fuller longer, we have to look at it from this aspect, okay? So think about food volume. It's all gonna come down to food volume, okay? So if you have Pop-Tarts, you have a package of Pop-Tarts, and those little guys are like this big, you eat them, there's like 74 grams of carbs, and it's not really filling. Now if you have 74 grams of carbs coming from rice, or sweet potatoes, or fruits and veggies, that's a ton of volume. There's a lot more. If you put it on a plate, there's a lot more. Not only that, but there's gonna be more fiber, and fiber is going to be a huge part of that because fiber helps us stay satiated, basically meaning it's gonna help us stay fuller longer. Now when you look at Pop-Tarts or cereals or sugary sweets, things like that, they typically have very, very low fiber, meaning they're not gonna help you stay fuller longer, okay? Now, another tip that we can use is make sure that we spread our meals out evenly throughout the day. And this is gonna get real important, especially when we get really, really deep into prep or if you guys are doing a really, really hard cut, okay? Reason being is rather than having like those like one or two meals and they're gonna have giants spaced out between them, is the reason is gonna be because like I talked about those hormones earlier, as we get really lean, the ghrelin leptin levels, they're gonna make us get hungrier and we're not gonna stay as full as long, okay? So if you guys can ideally space out your meals, let's say four meals throughout the day and have about three to four hours between them, that's gonna be very optimal. Another thing that we can do is making sure that we're drinking plenty of water. Not only is that gonna help us stay hydrated, it's gonna help us stay mentally sharp and help us perform at a more optimal level, but it's also going to make sure that we're gonna be staying fuller longer. I hope that you guys found these tips super useful. Uh, let me know what you guys wanna see in the next video. Go ahead, drop down in the comments below your guys' biggest takeaway from this video, and I will see you in the next one. Till then, boom, out.